President Putin has ordered the Russian government to restrict the sale of alcohol not intended for human consumption because more than 60 people have died, 40 more have been hospitalized in Siberia. The victims all drank bath lotion containing toxic methylated spirit. Andy Beat reports. The mass poisoning in the snowy Siberian city of Irkutsk is the worst in modern Russian history. Dozens of people seeking a cheap high bought this bath oil with an advertised ethanol content of 93%. They didn't know it also contained highly toxic methanol. I went to the shop and bought, I'm ashamed to say what it was, and drank it with my husband and his mother. She unfortunately died. I called an ambulance for my husband but ended up here myself. I don't know what's happened to him. I woke at dawn with a severe headache and I realised I was losing my vision. When I was looking at the light, it felt like I was blinded by car headlights. Forty people are still receiving treatment. According to Russia's health ministry, half are not expected to live. The large number of fatalities can be explained by the high concentration of methanol in the liquid they drank. 30 to 50 milliliters of methanol is considered a lethal dose. Those people consumed much more than that. A massive police operation is now underway, raiding premises and seizing bottles. Twelve people have been detained. Investigators along with police officers are performing searches at markets. They have already confiscated about 2,000 bottles. Everything has been sent for analysis. The case has prompted nationwide soul-searching, putting Russia's relationship with alcohol firmly under the spotlight. Previous measures to curb its abuse by raising taxes and banning late licenses have only fueled bootleg sales. Up to 12 million Russians are thought to turn to alternatives like perfume, aftershave or antifreeze. Moscow has demanded action, President Putin ordering tougher laws on the sale and production of many alcoholic products. Despite the risks, for now at least, heavy drinking remains part of many people's lives. Andy Beat, BBC News. Stay with us on BBC News if you can. Much more to come, including this, a crackdown on airlines releasing human waste from the skies over India.